have no idea how excited I am to be here. I know this isn't a bag channel, but I feel like I have, my collection has grown that it most likely could be. I have been looking and researching for this bag for over two years. So if you're like me on the other side of the camera, then I feel you because I have watched countless hours of videos, TikTok videos, unboxing. Um, I even joined the Chanel Facebook group to just like do my research on finding this bag. And yesterday I walked into the Chanel store and my essay was like, is this the bag you're looking for? And I'm like, you didn't even message me to let me know that you've got it. And I just walked in, right place, right time. And I just immediately knew it was fate. It was fate. Now, I know it's silly to get excited over a handbag. However, for this, for me, is an investment piece and it's something that I'm taking to the grave. I would never consider myself selling this bag. I'm just so excited to open this bag because I remember when I was in your shoes, I don't know if you're watching this for pleasure or if you're watching this for research, but I just did so much research that I really hope that I can help you with your purchase decision and help you find your perfect Chanel 19 bag. Isn't she stunning? I feel like we need a moment of silence for opening her up. I never thought that they were gonna be releasing the shade that I was looking for. Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> this is so, uh, oh, I think I just broke the back. Oh my God, I like opened it so aggressively. But look how many she gave me. Oh my God, these are so cute. You can even like put them like Oh my gosh, you can put that. I literally wasn't expecting Chanel to be releasing more of this color. And my essay told me, I don't know if it's true or not, that because they have released this color already several times in slightly different variations of shades, that most likely they're going to be stopping for a while um, to continue it again in the future because they don't want to be making too much of the same color. And she said that a lot of people already have this color that they want to give it a pause. So regardless, if I feel like I got the last kind of opportunity or chance to get it straight from the store, you can always, always find it at a resale market. The smell. Oh my God. I'm so excited. The great thing about Chanel, and I don't know if they do this at all locations, but the one in Vancouver, I politely asked them if I was able to see this bag outside, to be able to take it outside the store and see the natural sunlight. And they said, yes, they just send you off with a sales associate. You go outside, you can look at it, you can try it in all different areas of the near entrance. And hopefully, I mean, I'm looking at it. And I think this is the most perfect shade of brown ever. I was so scared that in the store it would look different than in person, but this is my first time, obviously, unboxing it at home. Look at all this paper. Oh my gosh. I think this is, I really hope this reflects the same color on the screen. I have seen hundreds, hundreds of videos of comparing different shades from the 19S to the 21P to the 22S to the 23P, all the different brown shades. I did like a research study case on them because I only want one Chanel 19 brown bag and I've settled for, tag does not come in the box, but I got the 23B AS1160, and then there's a bunch of other numbers on it, which I'll include on the screen. I think, based on trying to compare this color with the ones I've seen on the internet, 21P, 22S are slightly pink undertone. If you're looking for a brown, this one is a very, very, very good candidate. This is the perfect shade of neutral brown for the winter. This can go amazing with a white dress, a gray coat, wool coat for the fall. It looks really great on black. I feel like it's a very beautiful color to go against green and maybe even like gray, white. It's just such a very friendly color against all other colors. A lot of the bags that 
recently came out they were like that orange undertone no not a vibe let's finish on wrapping this first I have seen hundreds of like really nice organized aesthetic bag unboxing videos and I would say the video that I'm making is the most unaesthetic organized video ever. But we're just going with the flow, okay? So we have her fully unwrapped here and I have my Oran sandals in their brown gold. So the shoe is quite dark compared to the bag, but I still love the color of both. I just find this like also a perfect shade of brown, but just darker but this hello you could wear her with like a jean outfit light colors dark colors i heard a couple of people talk about that this bag does get slouchy over time it is clearly just a personal preference on how you're going to use your bag how you're going to wear it what does your lifestyle look like this is my very first chanel 19 i have a couple double flaps and the small is very small that it doesn't fit much and there are a really great spring and summer bag but in the winter time when you have bigger puffier vests and wool coats you really want something that's going to fit over and i just feel like this is so perfect for that because you have the chain strap another thing that i also heard people say is the chain is heavy there's weight to it but i wouldn't necessarily say it's heavy it's comfortable um i'm not going to be putting bricks in here i'm not going to be carrying rocks so it's not going to be even heavier but it definitely adds a little bit of weight to it because the chains are bulky i really love that the chanel 19 has this little like leather strap here that you can put over your shoulders that it is a more comfortable um place to have it versus the chanel double flap it's just this like the chain so i do find that sometimes like over time throughout the day it starts to dig in my shoulder so again i don't have any experience with the chanel 19 but i'm very excited this is my very first and now let's see what shall fit inside her i feel like this is going to be the most realistic what fits in my chanel 19 bag because i've seen some ridiculous things go in here and i'm like why do you need that like no one carries that i am very simple i just i this is these are the only things that i need and we're gonna put them in there and see how they fit and the one thing i love about this bag it has that pouch in the back so i have the xx12 it's an older phone but she big she big and she fits there quite nicely so i just push her in and we can definitely close it didn't even try that hard so she is in there snug and then in the front part my little makeup case like it's so tiny i just literally have my mirror my blotting paper some powder and chapstick then i have my massive wallet so still got tons of space in there and then i feel like this is the thing that takes up the most space in my bag it's like my wallet on chain and my car keys and we have still tons of space in there but it's snug you can definitely add more stuff in there but i just feel like it's unnecessary to overstuff it with just like ridiculous items but we're gonna close her up Okay, at this point, I understand when people say the chain is heavy because just with those items, this bag did get significantly heavier. However, it's not to the point where I feel like I'm working out. It's just a bag carrying your stuff. I've seen people carry way more items, so I can't imagine how heavy that bag would be, but very comfortable, very snug. Everything fits in there. I love the back, po back pocket. So for the Chanel Small 19, the sizing is 3 inch by 10 inch by 6.75 inch. Now let's talk about the chain's drop. Now I know there's some comments saying that it's really long. However, the way that I want to wear this bag crossbody is in the winter with a wool coat. So having that extra space is really nice and very comfortable to get it in and out. But to measure it from my tip of my shoulder all the way down, as you can see, so about the bag top is 22 inches and then all the way to the bottom is about 28 inches for your reference i'm 5'4 and for me i think this bag is a perfect size and like i said when i have a bigger coat this is just going to be a really easy on and off because we're already super bulked up in the winter 
This just makes it so much easier, very comfortable. But I just find that the double flap is very like structured and doesn't fit a lot of stuff versus I'm very excited to give this a try to play with the puffiness. And it's very similar to a YSL puffer bag. And I have a green one and I love that during the winter. Again, because of my coats, lots of space in and out. If I could, I would have purchased this bag two years ago before maybe like more price increases that they've had. However, that was just not the case for me as I was still early stages in researching and trying to find the perfect shade. When you're purchasing a bag that's worth such a high price tag, obviously it needs to be perfect. And that is exactly what this bag is for me. I am so, so, so happy with this color. So the price that I paid for this bag obviously is a ridiculous amount. However, this is a bag that I'm not getting rid of and it's an investment. It's something that I've wanted for a really long time. And it's almost like the only piece that I want from the 19. Like I don't want a black one. I don't want a seasonal piece. I really, really, really wanted just this color. So I'm very happy with that. However, $9,000 is a lot for a handbag. A double flap is 13,000 right now, Canadian dollars. So in a sense, it's cheaper but at the same time, we're not talking about like a thousand dollar handbags. I feel like those don't even don't even exist anymore. It's just the prices of handbags are have skyrocketed. There's it's just ridiculous how really expensive handbags are. So it's definitely an investment. Definitely requires a lot of savings. However, there are resale markets and secondhand boutiques that do sell good quality and decently priced items. I got very lucky. I don't even know how someone in Vancouver could even find the most perfect shade of brown because, hey Google, how many people live in Vancouver? In 2017, the population of Vancouver was 675,218. Okay, so just in Vancouver, there's 700,000 people and I was one of those people that snagged this bag. I just think that's a matter of luck. That's a matter of manifestation. I've been wanting to get this bag for so long and I'm so happy that I did. So I got to answer the question. If you ask me, is this bag worth it? I'm going to tell you that anything in life is worth it if you really, really, really want it. I personally, I know I've mentioned this like a hundred times. I've wanted this bag for two years and I still wanted just this bag and I've just as bad. Given the style, I feel like it's very versatile. It is so chic and stunning and very feminine on the wrist or in the crook of your arm. But again, for running around to have just like whip over your body, it's just like so perfect. So at the end of the day, it completely depends on your lifestyle and most importantly, your budget, how you're gonna wear this bag and maybe if it's a seasonal piece versus something that's more timeless. I personally think going black, white, shades of brown are very timeless so personal preference again some people only want to collect like the seasonal pieces which are also super pretty but it all depends i'm very 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 happy with this color if you've made it to the very end i honestly applaud you this video was probably so chaotic because it has been a hot minute since i filmed a youtube video but I was in your shoes when I was doing some research, so I just really wanted to almost like give back to the community and say, hey, thank you for helping me. And now I'm here helping the next person looking for maybe a similar bag. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll love to help you out because I know how it is when you're looking for that designer purchase investment. It's tough and you really wanna take the time and research to do it. So I hear you, I got you. Let me know and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, bye.